each of us have been coming to church for 5 10 20 50 even 90 years anjum 10 20 50 90 varshangalayittu pallil verunavaraanu nammal oru oru therum if we had spent this much time doing anything else we would be experts at it alle thrayam kaalam ee oru oru activity nammal varshangalayittu cheyittundayirunnengil nammal adinte oru expert thanne aagumayirunnu but how many of us sitting in this church and watching in the uh, live stream how many of us are able to say that we can explain what is happening here to a stranger who might come through the door വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാനയിൽ എന്താണ് സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ ആഘോഷിക്കുന്നത് എന്താണ് നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്ന് മറ്റൊരാൾക്ക് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്ത് കൊടുക്കാൻ ഇവിടെ ആയിരിക്കുന്ന ഇത് കാണുന്ന എത്ര പേർക്ക് സാധിക്കും നമ്മളിൽ പലർക്കും സാധിക്കുകയില്ല ദർ ഫോർ ഐ എം ഗോയിൻ ടു ടേക്ക് എ കപ്പിൾ വീക്സ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദ മാസ് ഇൻ പാർട്സ് ഓക്കെ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വൈ ഡു ബി കം ടു ചർച്ച് എന്തിനാണ് വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാനയ്ക്കായിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ദേവാലയത്തിൽ ആഴ്ചതോറും കടന്നു വരുന്നത് വായ് എന്തിനാണ് ഈശോയ്ക്ക് ഈശോയെ അനുഭവിക്കാൻ വെരി ഗുഡ് ഈശോയെ അനുഭവിക്കാൻ ടു റിസീവ് ജീസസ് വയൽസ് എന്തിനാണ് വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാനയ്ക്ക് കടന്നു വരുന്നത് ഇറ്റ്സ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് അവർ ലൈഫ് യെസ് വൈ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് അവർ ലൈഫ് വൈ ഷുഡ് ഇറ്റ് ബി എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് അവർ ലൈഫ് very good we are celebrating the life of jesus right we are celebrating the life of jesus in each of the holy kurbano and the reason why we come to church is because god has blessed us abundantly we come to church to give thanksgiving when someone has given you a gift how do you respond to them oral ningalku oru sammana thannal enganeyana ningal respond cheyyunathu is that who was that go ahead was that uh, jonathan or uh, joakim right no answer okay <laughs> how do you how do you respond to someone who gives you a gift you say thank you right you say thank you what else do you do is is thank you enough is one is thank you enough for a gift that we receive in order to at least somewhat balance it out no <laughs> what do you do when someone gives you a gift we give something back right we give them something we give them something of equal or more importance god has given us our life god has given us everything we have in life what do we have that is of equal or more importance to give back to god endha nammada kayil ullae and all right for you you had to you had to tell me what do you have to give back to god in return for all that he has given you as thanksgiving is it enough that we give all our life to god nammude jeevitham muluvan nammal karthavane samarpichathukondu mathram aayo no it's not enough our life is not enough because our life is not necessary for god what is something that is even more precious that god has given us his son so during holy mass we offer his son as offering to god and how do we do it by remembering the entire life of jesus christ from the beginning from the eternal beginning to the second coming we remember jesus' life now how does the holy kurbano start how does it begin what is the first thing that we do thrai varsham kandavaraana vannu kurbane aagoshikkunavaraana endaanu kurbaneyude aadyathe bhagam what do we do first altar servers tell me what do you do first old test very good old testament readings right 
So in order to celebrate Jesus' life, why do we read Old Testament readings first? To show that Jesus was already present. The Son of God was already present in a hidden manner. And when the Old Testament readings are being read, the curtain is closed, indicating that Christ is not yet present in the world to our naked eyes, right? And during this time, two services happen. If there was no curtain, you would have been able to see it. The first service is the service of Melchizedek. Second is the service of Aaron. What did Melchizedek do in the Old Testament? Athanasius. Very good. Melchizedek offered bread and wine. The priest during this service offers, prepares and offers bread and wine. Second service is the service of Aaron. What did Aaron do? He was the high priest. What did he do for the people of Israelites? What did he offer? You see the smoke all over here? Incense. Aaron offered incense. During that time, the priest incenses the offerings that are on the altar. Now, where or when do the world see Jesus first? Where or when do the world see Jesus first? It's not a trick question. When? Bethlehem. What happened at Bethlehem? He was born, right? Jesus was born in Bethlehem. What are the first words the priests say at the big, uh, when the curtain opens? Mary, who gave you birth, and John, who baptized you. So we have seen Jesus' uh, hidden life, we can say, the Son of God being present for eternity when the curtain is closed. When the curtain opens, the first thing we hear, the first thing we remember is Jesus' birth and baptism. And during this time, we see, during special solemn occasions, the achen and the servers go around the altar in procession, right? The first altar server will be holding a candle. He is representing John the Baptist. The other servers represent prophets. The priest represents or stands in person of Jesus Christ. So all the prophets are going in front of Jesus, proclaiming Jesus' coming to the world, and then Jesus comes. Okay, what happened after Jesus was baptized? After he was tempted in the desert, what happened in Jesus' life? What happened? Louder, louder. His ministry, okay, where do we see Jesus' ministry during Mass? Yes, the Gospel reading, right? The Bible reading, we see the ministry of Jesus. Now, before we uh, get involved in that, there are two other readings before the, the Gospel reading. First is the reading from either Acts of the Apostles or Catholic Epistles or Revelations. Today, Alan read from Revelations. And then the second reading is from the Pauline epistles, the epistles written or attributed to Paul. Why is it that the Catholic epistles and Revelation and Acts of the Apostles are read from this side, the north side, and the Pauline epistles are read from the south side? Mariamo. Yendundana. Paulus Lehaida Lekenem, Teka Bagatunum, Kadurika Lekenangalum, Bellibad Revelationsum, Wadaka Bagatunum Baikanat. Because the Catholic Epistles and Revelation and Acts of the Apostles were addressed to Jews. And in the olden days, the Jewish Christians, the converts from Judaism who became Christians, stood on the north side of the church. Pauline epistles were addressed to the Gentiles. And because of that, the Pauline epistles are read to on the south side where in the early church, the Gentile Christians stood. 
the gospel which is for everyone is read from the middle the gospel of jesus christ is said is proclaimed from the middle okay during the gospel reading so this is the final part that we are going to talk about today the gospel reading during the gospel reading we see uh, altar servers holding certain things right so what are some of the things that the altar servers hold during the gospel reading okay marwasa before that what's the closest thing candles what do the candles represent light of light of jesus very good see the kids know <laughs> the light of jesus the word of god is being proclaimed the light of jesus is shining forth so we have the light going on but why the bells and the marwasas represent the angels what is the image on the marwasa angels right the the ringing of the marwasa represent the fluttering of the wings of angels the presence of angels and the fluttering of wings of angels where do so we also have the the uh, main server waving the thirubal thubukitti veesina pradhana sasrushaganam undu where in the old testament do we see smoke thunder and lightning all at once i'll give you a clue it is at mount sinai what happens at mount sinai the 10 commandments is given by 10 commandments is given to moses by by god right god is revealing himself to moses and at that time there is smoke there is lightning there is thunder in the new testament in the new covenant the word of god is being revealed through his word the marwasas and the bells represent and the and the dhubukitti represent the smoke and the thunder and the lightning at the revelation of god is this much clear okay quiz time what are the two services at the beginning of the mass when the curtain is closed service of melchizedek and service of aaron what did melchizedek offer bread and wine very good what did uh, aaron offer incense very good during the uh, at the public service what is the first thing that we remember mary who gave you birth which signifies which event in jesus's life his birth at bethlehem right and then baptism uh, after baptism jesus went into the desert to be tempted and after that he started his public ministry which we see where in the gospel reading right in the gospel reading very good uh, there are two readings before uh, the gospel reading one from the north side it is read from the north side because who stood in the north side in the early church jewish christians in the south side the pauline epistles are read who stood in the south side gentile christians very good the uh, the marwasas and the bells what do they represent angels or whom do they represent the angels very good the light the candle who does it represent the light of jesus very good the uh, the place where we see the smoke and the thunder and the lightning in the old testament is where mount sinai where what happened moses gave 10 commandments very good and god god gave 10 commandments to moses god revealed himself in the new testament during the gospel reading god the son of god reveals himself and his father to us said clear that much now next question what is the first phrase that the altar server is going to announce right after i finish the homily barakimor stavan kalas it's not english it's not malayalam it's not even hindi what language does the word barakimor come from syriac what about stavan kalas greek very good greek stavan kalas what does it mean no yes stand at attention barkimor stavan kalas enna susrushagan parayumbol elnete nilkkanulla oru kalpanayanu the server is giving a command to the people 
But he says, Barakimor before that. What does Barakimor mean? Bless me, O Lord. The server is asking permission from the priest to tell the people to stand at attention with his permission. The server by himself cannot do anything. He's asking the permission to speak on behalf of the priest, to tell the people to stand at attention. And what do the people respond? Kurelaison. What does the word Kurelaison mean? Lord, have mercy on us. We are saying, Lord, we are unworthy to stand before you. You make us worthy to stand at attention before you, to receive you. Today, when we celebrate the Hudos Ito Sunday, let us think about renewing ourselves, renewing our hearts. All the unnecessary noises that are in our hearts that are drowning out the voice and the priority that we should give to God. Let us ask ourselves, what are the sounds, what are the noises, what are the distractions in my heart that is drowning out God? My heart is supposed to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. What actions, what behaviors, what habits are drowning out the voice of God, the voice of the Holy Spirit within my heart? Amen.